Hello everyone! Let's finish understanding the functions from the ALP component library. Understanding this topic can be quite complex, so we will use this thing. It will make the application more illustrative. Logical functions can work not only with Boolean data, but also with numbers. In this case, the operation is performed bit by bit with each pair of bits from two numbers. For example, the AND function, logical multiplication, can be used to check a number for evenness by multiplying it by 1. Then all bits, except the youngest, will be 0, or 1. If 0, the number is even, if 1, the number is odd. The exclusive OR function can be used, for example, to encrypt a number or to swap the values of two variables without using a third. How does it work? Well, here is an example. Let's take the number 1010 and some key for encryption, for example 1111. Run them through exclusive OR. The output will be 0101, the encryption. If we run it through exclusive OR with the same key again, we will get the original number 1010. But much more interesting is the possibility of knowing the state of a specific bit of a number. Suppose let's take the number 1001101 and assume we want to know the state of its fourth bit. For this, we multiply it by such a number where all bits except the fourth are 0 and the fourth bit is 1. 1, 0, 0, 0. The output will be a number in which all bits except for the fourth are zero and the fourth retains its original state. This is still just a number, not a boolean variables. So a couple more operations need to be done. First, we need to move the fourth bit three positions to the right so that it ends up in the youngest bit. This will be helped by the right shift function. It allows you to move a bit the required number of positions to the right and the three cells will be filled with zeros. Now all that remains is to convert the resulting integer into boolean type using the standard functions of an architect ALP. Also, for example, you can write the boolean state you need in a specific bit of a number. For this, we take boolean data, convert it into integer, then use the left shift function to move it to the required position. The three cells are filled with zeros, let's call this thing for example a mask, multiply the original number by the inverted mask using the AND function, invert using the NOT function, then the values in the bit we need will be zeroed out and all the others will remain unchanged. Now we add this result to uninverted mask and the free bit is filled with the values we need. But in fact, for these two actions, writing and reading bytes, that is, ready-made functions, here they are. They are needed for us to work with data received by Modbus when packing and unpacking so-called state mask. And working with encryptions is difficult and they are very rarely used, so try to fantasize and write their application in the comments. So that's all I have for now, stay tuned for course updates and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for your attention, all the best.